Cloud Engine S Series Video Backhaul Switch Installation. In this video, we'll show you how to install a Cloud Engine S Series Video Backhaul Switch. Before we start, let's get our installation tools ready. First and foremost, use a utility knife to remove the packaging. Then take out the switch, auxiliary material package, and the hose clamps used for pole mounting. Now let's install the switch onto the pole. Use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the maintenance compartment panel from the switch. Take out the sealing compound. Use the Phillips screwdriver to take off the base, which we need to deal with first. Feed the hose clamps onto the base. Make sure that the cables you're connecting to the switch are fed through the cable hole at this stage. Having done that, mount the base onto the pole. Use the M6 hex torque screwdriver to fasten the hose clamps tight. Now you can place the switch on the pole. Fasten the switch onto the two screws on the base. Finally, cut an opening in the rubber plugs located at the bottom of the maintenance compartment. Optionally, you can install AC input and output circuit breakers and a fiber management tray. After the switch is mounted to the pole, we need to connect various cables inside the maintenance compartment. Let's start with the optical fiber. First, install the optical module into the optical port on the switch. Route the optical fiber in the fiber management tray and then insert it into the optical module. If no fiber management tray is set up, feed the optical fiber through a cable hole instead and then insert it into the optical module. Now let's connect the power cables. The switch provides five 12 volt DC outputs to external devices. When connecting a 12 volt DC output power cable, make sure that the cable cores are attached to the positive and negative poles correctly. The switch also provides two 24 volt AC outputs to external devices. Before connecting a 24 volt AC output power cable, make sure to pull out the cable connector first Make sure that the live and neutral wires are correctly connected. Then you can insert the wires of the cable into the connector and after that put the connector into the power output socket. Next let's connect the 220 volt AC input power cable. First, assemble the 220 volt AC input power cable.
Insert the live and neutral wires of the cable into the sockets of the AC input circuit breaker. and secure the PE wire to the ground terminal next to the circuit breaker. Next, assemble the output power cables for the AC input circuit breaker. Connect these power cables to the input and output circuit breakers and the AC power input sockets of the switch. Make sure that the live and neutral wires are correctly connected. We also need to connect Ethernet cables to the switch. Then connect the ground cable to the switch. After all the cables have been connected, seal all open cable holes shut using the sealing compound. Finally, use your Phillips screwdriver to fasten the maintenance compartment panel onto the switch. And close the cover plates. Your work is complete.